what is the best lure to catch a big bass? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. All bass anglers, whether they are brand new to the sport or a veteran of many, many years, want to catch big, big bass. That is our goal. We all have a personal best that we want to try to eclipse each time we get out there on the lake or river. Well, in my opinion, what is the best lure that you can throw that's going to target those big, big bass? And for me personally, it has got to be a jig. Now, seems like a simple answer, but I'm going to break it down to three types of jigs and why I would use each one and when I would use them. So let's start off just with your standard flipping jig like I have right here, this Bitsy flip jig with a trailer on it, a Rage Menace Twin Tail Grub trailer. So why is a jig the best lure for catching a big bass. And once again, remember this is my opinion based on the places that I fish, but two reasons. One, I can put a flipping jig into places where those big, big bass live. I can get it into the gnarliest brush piles. I can go ahead and fish it, you know, through rock, or I can get it up underneath docks, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But a flipping jig, or a jig in general, can go where the big bass are. The other thing that you can do with a jig is you can cover the entire water column from top to bottom efficiently without retying all the time. For example, if I just had this very simple quarter ounce flipping jig with this style of a trailer or maybe a big craw trailer, I could swim it back to the boat and cover the top part of that water column. I could swim it in the mid part of the water column, you know, fish it horizontally like that. I can let it drop along dock pilings and timber and fish it vertically. And then I can just drag it along the bottom if I want as well. So with one lure, I'm going to cover all parts of the water column, get it into the places that those big bass live, and I can fish efficiently. Efficiently. I don't need to be retying all the time and changing lures to hit the different things that are in front of me. And that is why I think a jig is such a good lure for catching a big, big bass because you are getting more casts and the more casts we can get in there, especially into those thick, gnarly places where the big ones live, your odds of catching a big, big bass go way, way up. Now we talked about docks, right? And I can skip under docks with this, no problem. But there are jigs out there that are specifically designed for skipping. They have some flatter sides to them. A lot of them are a little bit heavier, but yet they offer a bulky or compact profile. And this here is actually a skipping jig. It's what it is designed for. This head design is very different than this traditional flipping jig head. You can get it into those places where not every other angler is going to necessarily try to put the lure. So that means if there's a big fish up underneath a dock or overhanging limbs, you're going to get a lure there where others may not. So your odds of catching a big one go way, way up. And the last type of jig that I use all the time and probably I have caught more big fish on this style of jig than even the other two is a swim jig. And a couple of reasons for that, a swim jig is real easy to cover a lot of water. I can just put that trolling motor down and start to cover water. The other thing that a swim jig does really well, especially in a lot of the waters I fish, is it comes through vegetation with ease. This style of head, this very slender profile of head, comes through vegetation easier than your traditional flipping jig head or definitely the skipping style. So a swim jig can cut through that vegetation very, very nicely, especially if you have just kind of sparse vegetation. This is an excellent tool to cover a lot of water and put it in places where those big bass live. So like I said, I've probably caught more big fish on a swim jig than any of the other two, but I do have a very special place in my heart for this style of flipping jig because of the very first check I ever cashed was down on Bull Shoals Lake and I had big bass for a tournament and that came on a quarter ounce 
flipping jig so it's, it's got a special place in the memory banks for sure hey if you would like to watch a video on how to skip jigs why don't you go ahead and check this one out right here i think that you'll find it interesting and don't forget to go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers